What are common O-ring installation issues? And how are they avoided? O-rings may be small, but they are key components to the success of fluid-powered systems. The success requires careful design, material selection, and installation procedures from our end. No matter how careful we are during design phases, O-rings can obviously fail in their application for a number of different reasons. The combination of stresses that act on O-rings can be tough to evaluate, which is why it's important that we test each material in the real environment of its application and thoroughly examine them during installation phases. So let's look at some common causes of O-ring installation issues. Overstretching. Rubber materials are made to a given rubber specification. This includes durometer, tensile, and elongation at break. Elongation at break is key because it tells how much the O-ring can be stretched before breaking. We use this minimum elongation based on the rubber specifications as the maximum stretch. Most O-ring installation machines have four different parts, almost like fingers, that stretch the O-ring. Engineers should assure that the stretch of the O-ring does not exceed the minimum elongation of the O-ring. If the rubber specification has a minimum elongation of 150%, it is not recommended to stretch to 200%. Some O-rings may pass, but it is likely that most will fail, which can result in installation equipment failure. The ASTM, or American Society for Testing and Material Standard, is a good example of how we follow a classification system for elastomer compounds. In ASTM D2000, each callout lists a specific minimum. We follow this precisely and know our material specifications like the back of our hands to avoid overstretching. Improper O-ring installation occurs in both dynamic and static seals and is marked by shortcuts or peripherally peeled surfaces. These are caused by things like sharp edges and glands, sharp threads where the O-ring passes during assembly, insufficient lead-in chamfers, or lack of lubrication during installation. As a solution, we always provide a 15 to 20 degree lead-in chamfer and cover threads with tubes or tape during O-ring installation. The hardest issue to diagnose is failure without evidence. Since there are no visual cues for this failure, whether it's from tolerance stack up, insufficient compression set, or an improper volume relationship, small flaws can pass through pre-production and cause application issues down the road. This is where careful design comes into play. We try and maintain recommended compression force, avoid parting lines and grooves, and ensure that the O-ring gland volume exceeds the O-ring volume to allow seal expansion. Most importantly, we have to be aware of these common design issues to avoid premature failure in your applications. If you're interested in more troubleshooting installation issues, you can visit our seal design guide at applerubber.com.